My name is Ludwig Zrinze. Um, I'm originally from Malta, and my first exposure to deep brain stimulation was really when I was doing research back in 1999, and deep brain stimulation was kind of a new kid on the block. Practically um, been working with deep brain stimulation now for, for 20 years, going on 20 years. Electrodes very precisely uh, deep within the brain, and you connect those electrodes, those wires, to a pacemaker, but instead of stimulating the heart, you're stimulating the brain. It's a very powerful tool because it's reversible. If you don't like the effects, you can switch it off. You can modulate or change the dose of electricity you're putting in, so you can minimize the side effects and increase the beneficial effects. And you can have very dramatic effects in a family of diseases that include Parkinson's disease, tremor, and dystonia, which are primarily motor disorders. And it requires a multidisciplinary team to make sure that the right people receive it and the right aftercare is given, because the aftercare is just as important as the surgery itself. Recognizing when medication isn't giving the quality of life that patients require and when would like, and recognizing when deep brain stimulation can reverse that and actually improve quality of life is a very important part of patient uh, selection and therefore the patient's journey. It's usually the neurologist, uh, when you talk about Parkinson's disease, uh, who has to make that decision and who has to refer uh, their patient to a multidisciplinary team that can make those evaluations. So really a well-informed network, um, including the general practitioner, uh, who can make the appropriate referrals, um, is really quite essential to making sure that patients get the surgery when they, when they deserve it, really.